you do not embrace every part of your natural hair journey you are definitely going to regret it hi guys welcome back to my channel it's lizzie here and you are new to my channel welcome to my channel go ahead and click on the subscribe button and click on the notification bell right beside it to be notified every single time i post a video because i post natural hair and lifestyle videos on this channel and if you are returning subscriber thank you very much for coming back now without further ado let's get right into this video so recently i have been looking for photos of my hair when it was short and i checked through my phone i checked through my google drive and everything i couldn't find tangible pictures of my hair when it was really short i only found that ridiculous one that i used it's not ridiculous but then i looked like i was really suffering but those were basically the only pictures i was able to find and i realized that when my hair was shorter i did not enjoy my hair i took for granted all those moments of my um beginning i neglected those times and i did not embrace my hair whatsoever i did this style for this video and yes that video is going to be linked up somewhere maybe in the description box or up here i would link that video up on how to create this beautiful style so after doing this hairstyle i discovered that my hair was too long to put in a fringe and i would have to be using bobby pins to hold it up so that i could be above my eye because by the time i twisted my hair my hair was up to my mouth and what what kind of fringe is that like i said in that video i would not like to fall inside gutter because i am trying to do fashion so i just realized that all the styles that i was i was supposed to do when my hair was shorter i didn't do them i was waiting for my hair to grow long and now my hair is long i'm struggling to achieve those hairstyles that i would have easily achieved if my hair was short now where is the joy in having long hair if you cannot do the styles that you want to do the natural hair community has made it that for somebody's hair to be considered good it has to be really long and stuff like that then it's considered good hair but that is a lie and that is one of the things that have made people obsess over length and think that their hair is no good because their hair is not long But I want to tell you today that if you do not embrace every part of your journey, even when you get to that point where your hair wants to be long, you definitely look forward to it getting longer. And at the end of the day, you just realize that you're not enjoying every moment of your natural hair journey because you're only looking forward to when your hair gets longer. Do you get? So you don't, you don't get to embrace your hair as it is at that time. So there are many negativities of obsessing over length because at the end of the day, you realize that your hair gets to bum bum length and you just want to start again. There is nothing else. You just want to be like, okay, I think I want to have a big chop. I want to cut my hair and start again. Like, what is, what are you keeping the hair for if at the end of the day you just get to put it in braids and that's it? Like, what are you enjoying the hair for? Because I mean, that is what we all know how to do, right? We know how to protect it style so that our hair grows longer. Then what's next? If the hair is growing longer and you cannot wear it out, what good is that? What good is that? I felt like my hair couldn't do much. I didn't, I didn't know how to style my hair. As at that time, the only thing I knew how to do was a puff. But even at that, there were still styles that I saw around. But because the styles that I saw on people, they had much longer hair than mine. So I would say, um, don't worry, when my hair gets to this level, I'm going to try this hairstyle. When my hair gets to this level, I'm going to style. I didn't try at that time to know whether my hair was going to still look cute if I did this style. I was just waiting till my hair grew longer. And then somehow, somehow that time passed. Like the time, the stage for those hairstyles passed. And I did not have to end. I did not have any um time or chance to enjoy those hairstyles. So I just figured that so many people are living like this. Like so many people are walking through their natural hair journey with this mindset and if you don't embrace every step of your natural hair journey you are going to regret it i'm not trying to debunk the fact you need to take care of your hair you need to protect your style you need to you know have a healthy natural hair journey i'm not trying to debunk that but if you're going to be so obsessed about it and not be able to enjoy your hair and not be able to try out different styles and do different things with your hair then what is the use of this natural hair journey what is the use of this natural hair that we're talking about if you don't get to style it in beautiful styles like this because you're so concerned about your hair breaking off and stuff like that it's okay to be concerned about that but if you are obsessing over length it's a different ball game altogether you just realize that you would never ever enjoy your hair journey at all because i've been going through um pinterest lately and i've been seeing all these curly twa styles and i was like oh my god these are so cute i wish i knew about all of this while my hair was going out 
I wish I knew about all those styles. I would have tried them. I just felt like without length, most of my styles will not come out. My hair will not look beautiful and stuff like that. So I basically just neglected the starting point of my natural hair journey. And I discovered that I was definitely obsessing over the length of my hair because I was pushing all the styles I would have wanted to do to when my hair is so long, to when my hair reaches my waist length. I was basically waiting for bum bum length hair. I would dream of it. I would dream of it. I see I can't wait till my hair gets to bra length. Before you know it got to shoulder length, before you know it got to bra length, and now I we are almost at mid back length. And I'm asking myself, if this hair gets to bum bum length, what else would I do with it? At some point now in my natural hair journey, I can no longer pack a, a good looking puff, like a good shaped puff, without leveraging on my shrinkage. Now, this was the shrinkage that I really hated when I was growing, when my natural hair was growing and stuff like that. I couldn't accept the way my hair was because it was too short. And when I started my natural hair journey, I was just basically following a lot of people with longer hair than mine. So, all I was thinking about was, oh my god, I can't wait till my hair gets to this point. I can't wait till my hair gets to this point. And then I realized that in that community, the hair that is considered good in quotes are those ones that their hair that are those ones that are really long extremely long i've seen people with my type of hair um that they were so long that a lot of people look up to them as the um standard to which our hair must be but that is totally wrong your hair does not have to look extremely long for you to consider it good hair every hair type is beautiful type 4 hair is beautiful 4c hair is beautiful long or short it is beautiful i don't want you guys thinking that um for hair to be good in quotes it has to be really long that's definitely a lie because there are so many things that comes up with obsessing over length number one you would not be able to enjoy beautiful styles you would not be able to embrace your hair like you won't be able to do anything with your hair you just basically be waiting and looking forward to the time that your hair is long enough you would always be in constant comparison with other people like you would never be comfortable with your own hair you would never be able to embrace it you would always be comparing yourself with one other person's natural hair journey or something like that oh i can't wait till my hair grows as long as hers and you just realize that you can't even do anything with your current hair at, at the time because you're just looking forward to when your hair becomes a certain length and i'm telling you that if you do not embrace every part of your natural hair journey you are definitely going to regret it i can tell you that from experience because there's so many things i wish i did with my hair I can't do those styles now because it will not be as cute as it would have been if I had done it then. So do you understand like that obsessing over length is actually um, stealing your joy. It's, it's actually stealing the joy of your natural hair journey. Basically, that's what it is. It's stealing the joy of your natural hair journey. And you realize that you're not enjoying how your hair is growing. You're not enjoying um, how beautiful your hair can be. Like you're not trying out stuff. You're not what is the joy in the natural hair journey at the end of the day what is the joy if there's anything i love about our hair it's the versatility it's so versatile that you could do a lot with your hair and you don't have to wait till your hair gets to a certain length to try things out that is just so sad that is just so sad so if you know that there is toxicity in the fact that you're following people with longer hair or in the, in the fact that you keep um looking forward to your hair growing longer and you are not embracing your current state at like the current state of your hair or the current length of your hair at that time just know that you're not doing yourself any good so i want you to stop obsessing over length and embrace every single stage of your natural hair journey and you are going to enjoy it don't let anybody tell you that good hair has to be long good hair has to be bum bum length good hair has to be that just make sure that the overall health of your hair is good your hair is healthy and you're good to go the length will definitely follow i'm not telling you that your hair will not grow or it's okay for your hair not to grow i mean we would also look at those things of course i am I'm, I'm very much concerned about the health and length of my hair but i've tried as much as possible to no longer obsess over it because if i obsess over it at the end of the day i would not enjoy it like i said i did not enjoy it in the beginning but as i began to get understanding of the fact that my hair at every point in time is beautiful when i started to understand that i started embracing every part of my natural hair journey and i have so much enjoyed it so i just want you to let yourself of the let go of the shackles of wanting your hair to become very long and then at the end of the day you neglect your current state or the current length of your hair because you're obsessing over the length of someone else's hair or the length of of, of 
good hair in the natural hair community so that's basically what today's video has been all about i just hope that you have learned something from today's video and you have learned not to obsess over length anymore and embrace every part of your hair journey because that is the message i wanted to pass across today so thank you very much for watching this video to the very end go ahead and give this video a like share subscribe comment and all of that and i will see you in my next video bye